Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is the Tuesday. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, and I'm still working. You're welcome. <laughs> some people, some people, mm -hmm. who shall remain president of the United States, knocked off early. Because <laughs> today, Joe Biden hit the road to spend Thanksgiving in Nantucket, reviving a family tradition. Reminds me of the famous limerick. There once was a man in Nantucket <laughs> whose poll numbers really did suck it. <laughs> At least he is not that orange Pol Pot who ate all his meals from a bucket. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. One, one little snag in the holiday travel has been high gas prices. So before he left town, the president announced he will release 50 million barrels of oil from the strategic reserve. Now, for those who don't know, that man does know. For those who don't know, the strategic reserve is a series of caverns filled with fossil fuel and strategically located inside Rudy Giuliani's head. <laughs> According, overflowing. Got to release it. Got to release the pressure. Get it out. According to the president, this is the largest release from the reserve in U.S. history. And in response, a spokesman for the American Petroleum Institute released this statement. Oil, black gold, sweet dinosaur jelly, West Texas dirt milk. We're rich. We're richer than Jesus. It's not. He's excited. He's excited. It's a direct quote. He's got some green. He's got some green. It's not clear if this is going to work. Energy experts have consistently said such a release would do little to lower prices at the pump. It's also not the best look right after you come back from a climate conference. We must end our addiction to fossil fuels. What's that? Gas is three fifty dollars a gallon? Let the rivers be choked with crude oil and the carcasses of pelicans. Of course... Burn! Burn! Turning to the pandemic, in the last month, new infections are up about 30%, just like this same time last year. It looks like COVID cases rising as a new holiday tradition. We're going to have to replace the elf on the shelf with Fauci on the couchy. <laughs> now, I'd buy that. I'd buy that. Market that, man. If you're getting ready to deck the halls, do not wait. Experts are predicting a Christmas tree shortage. That's okay. I'm sure I can build one from the needle still embedded in my carpet from last year. <laughs> now, in a statement, the executive president of something called the American Christmas Tree Association assured customers there will be a Christmas tree, both real and artificial, for everyone who wants to celebrate with one. It just may not be the exact kind, size, or color you want. <laughs> but none of that really matters. Remember, on the first Christmas, all Jesus had was a pile of hay. The important thing is that you and your family have an indoor fire hazard. <laughs> no sector, a jar of oily rags. <laughs> no sector is safe from these supply chain issues. Case in point, even social media influencers are impacted by the shortages. Yes, apparently all their little dance moves are stuck at the ports. And I'm being told we have actual footage. In normal times, oh, I'm watching it. I'm watching it over the holidays. I love me some Meryl Streep dancing. Now, in, in, in normal times, companies pay influencers to hock their merchandise on the social meds. But the issue now is that brands don't necessarily know if they will have enough stock to fulfill orders if a product ends up going viral. So some brands are using influencers to promote a wider breadth of products rather than focusing on a few items and keeping the messages more general. Which explains this recent influencer TikTok. My favorite gifts to give this Christmas. Things, stuff, items, objects, products, and more services. Please help me, I have no marketable skills. But, things, I recognize her. I do, too. I recognize her. But things may be looking up because supply chain problems are showing signs of easing. Great news for Santa. 
Otherwise, he was going to have to fill his sack with whatever they have at the Rite Aid checkout. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Who wants a holly jolly issue of Women's World? <laughs> Someone's getting 10 easy tips to tone those flappy arms. Oh, some little girl's getting a knockoff iPhone charger. <laughs> it doesn't work, but it's pink. <laughs> In Congress, the January 6th committee is still investigating who planned the attack on the Capitol, and they just subpoenaed a couple of big ones. First up on the docket, former presidential ally, pardon criminal, and Colonel Sanders. <laughs> and Colonel Sanders at the Swingers Club. <laughs> Roger Stone. Stone helped plan the rally that preceded the insurrection, and the committee wants to know why he was invited to lead the march to the Capitol from the rally, but curiously did not ultimately attend the rally or go near the Capitol. That is suspicious. It's like the head of the prom committee at the high school in Cary saying, look, I know I helped plan the dance, but I think I'm going to stay home. By the way, um, take this poncho. No reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, a little soda water, lemon juice, gets it right out of the carpet. Right out of the... Right. The committee also wants to hear from disgraced conspiracy theorist and pork meatball with freezer burn, <laughs> Alex Jones. Jones is in some hot water for helping to secure funding for the January 6th rally, as well as bellowing this at a crowd the night before. I don't know how this is going to end, but if they want to fight, they better believe they've got one. Well, now we do know how it ends. With Alex Jones under oath in Congress trying to sell the committee his vitality supplements. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, as a weak minded member of the deep state, you need my Prostagard pills. Take them with two cups of my patented male enhancement serum, and I'll put it this way if your toilet wants a fight, you better believe it's got one. <laughs> you better in a van down by the river. A little crossover, a little cross there. White line fever. Speaking of <laughs> former president's cronies, we've got some news from his ex fixer and Jurassic Park lawyer about to get stepped on by a T Rex, <laughs> Michael Cohen. Cohen got off of house arrest just yesterday, and his first stop was CNN. I do want to make this promise to you and to all of your viewers that I may have been prosecuted, and right now I am the only one, but I will not be the only one. At the end of the for this crime for this crime and for others who else cases. was involved well there were quite a few people that were involved uh, Eric in, uh, Eric Trump was involved help me dad <laughs> dad help I'm I'm too pretty for jail <laughs> it'll destroy mom also second mom third mom and porn star mom <laughs> she's the only one who still calls me. But it looks like, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right on. Conan already has some job prospects. Even while he was still on house arrest, Cohen was seen sitting down with a very strangely masked Kanye West, making Kanye the Cohen client with the second less believable human face. <laughs> Cohen addressed the meeting. You were seen um, recently meeting with Kanye West, also known as Ye. He's changed his name. He's changed his Ye. name. Um, what's that about? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Well, yeah, uh, one thing that I've done very well, virtually my entire life, was uh, help resolve issues for people. Um, we'll call it being a fixer, right? Uh, this time, though, uh, some of the issues that I'm talking about with Ye um, are nothing. To do with porn stars or Playboy playmates, it's uh, it, it, a lot of it is business related. That business legally getting away with calling this a shoe. <laughs> now, Cohen seems pretty tight-lipped about this arrangement, but I know what's happening. You see, Cohen is a gold digger. <laughs> That's what you do when it all falls down. He used to work for a monster, but he doesn't want to give up. Power, the good life, and all of the lights. No matter what, this is bound to be a circus. I wish they would both just 
run away. <laughs> but they won't. That's just my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. <laughs> Life of Pablo. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guest is Lady Gaga. Stick around. <laughs>